so we're at Rainclaw Station Limited. Uh, we're pretty much all deer with a bit of beef. Um, predominantly all velveting stags with um, running about two and a half thousand stags with uh, about a thousand odd hinds and um, with a bit of beef in the background. Um, we use the mixer wagon, um, BVL mixer wagon for our um, stags. Um, we set stock them early May um, on condition, uh, body condition, age, teeth and everything. Um, so they broke, stags are broken down to um, mobs 80, 100, 120 um, and adjusting their diet to their stags. So um, the mixer wagon is a very important key factor to our business throughout this winter months because it starts very early um, and we start cranking the feed into them early on. So it's grass, lucerne, maize and fodder beet in their diet and then um, mixed all up uh, using anywhere from 10 to 20 tonne a day uh, depending on the weather and, um, and what we're feeding. Uh, why do we go down the mixer wagon road? Um, I guess because we were growing the velvet um, side of the deer side of things and wanted to crank them a lot more when uh, traditionally some farmers would just start uh, cranking their stags at button drop or just before button drop and um, being a younger generation um, want to challenge the old man to a few different things so we um, we want to start cranking them in, in May, um, early May, um, early the better, and get them off the grass, get them onto a pad feed system, start cranking that nutrition into them nice and early. So that's where the mixer wagon came in, such a um, high demand for us, and we were worried when we started going down that intensified place, is it the right track? But so we're just trying to improve and always look to new places to go and. So the mixer wagon has uh, been a hell of an asset to us, but has intensified it it's every day. It was a bit of a concern when we thought we were going to have to run two. We bought a wee one to start off with, and then uh, realised that um, the BVL is pretty low running cost. Um, the service has been, yeah, great. So um, we dropped that out pretty quickly early on, um, running this BVL for four years now, going on. Um, so no complaints on our side of things, uh, probably the only thing we've broken is the PDO shaft um, with the boys and a shear bolt at the start, but that was probably human error, um, loading her up too much and start her in high box instead of low box, just things like that, so um, more and more we, every season goes by, less costing has gone out the door, so from our point of view, it's perfect. No, it's got like, it's got scales, and uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to increase and uh, fish it, get more efficiency out of what we do every day. So, with the uh, mixer wagon, um, it's it is quite important because uh, we can body condition as the winter goes through. So um, when they start at you know two and a half body condition, and you know we condition school them from their tummies and their backbones. Um, and then adjust their diet, so if they need more sugar, need more starch or need more fibre in their mix, then we adjust the protein or um, the starch to what they need. So that's why we get, um, we get farmlands on board and have a good rep in there, which has been a hell of an asset to us. Enthusiastic and uh, keen to get on board with us, so it makes um, our job a hell of a lot more exciting when you get webline, farmlands and stuff like that, those companies on board with us and want to grow and want to push and develop where things are going, not just stand in the, the arcades and um, carry on traditionally and doing the same thing over and over and over. So um, it's about challenging those things and challenging your old man and challenging the staff and trying to increase and yeah. Looking forward to what's, uh, what's ahead of you, not just staying in the past. Um, so that's why by uh, getting all those reps and companies on board, it's exciting times, so can't complain with that.